Mirenza is a drug that treats the underlying genetics of SMA. It increases SMN protein levels. And it came out of the fact that CureSMA funded grants to Dr. Ravindra Singh and Elliot Androphy at the University of Massachusetts. From there, Adrian Craner at Cold Spring Harbor Lab and Frank Bennett at uh, Ionis Pharmaceuticals went on to take this knowledge um, and do the preclinical development. So the effect of nusinersen is that uh, it, it um, allows the SMN2 gene, which is present in all SMA patients, to uh, produce normal or nearly normal levels of the SMN protein. <laughs> I mean, it's 20 years ago that we just found the gene for SMA, and at that time, that was the biggest news ever. It was 20 years ago, and here we are. Now. Uh, I remember coming to meetings 20 years ago, and which were much smaller then, but we'd meet the, the, the people who were afflicted and affected by this, and they'd say, can you do something for us? So I started at CureSMA 12 years ago, as I said, but I've actually started in the field in the year 2000. And in the year 2000, we had no drug companies working on SMA and no actual drug programs in development. I started to work on SMA maybe 15 years ago and from the beginning <clears throat> I met um, SMA patients and their families and, and they've always been a source of inspiration for us, a source of motivation and, and getting the work done. Well, there's a lot of hope. They never lost hope. And that hope inspired all of us at Biogen and Ionis to keep working really hard on Nusinersen. My husband and I have four children. My son, Samuel, who is our second son, was born with SMA type 2. It's really great for Sam to be able to see the researchers that are working behind the scenes for him to be able to get stronger, for him to do these things that he dreams about. And it, it's a great connection to have that he knows that there's someone else that he doesn't know that's working for him every single day. We realize that drug development is inherently difficult and risky and that there are over 6,000 orphan diseases of which SMA is one and very few of them have treatments. So to have an FDA approved drug is a huge momentous step for our community. When you do the research you always hope that it's going to have a beneficial impact uh, and but but it always seems like that's a distant possibility it's something you strive for and now it seems to actually be happening and that's um, it's, it's like a dream come true it's very rewarding some of the most incredible people in the world honestly are, are part of this SMA community so um, the fact that they do have this hope now is absolutely amazing um, you know, this is what we've dreamed for for so long and what we've hoped for, and so for it to be here is beyond exciting and still kind of unbelievable. There's so many people to thank. First, the families. They provide our inspiration. They were volunteers in our clinical trials. They provided support and advice throughout all these years. The scientists who helped us understand SMA, the genetics of SMA and the biology of SMA and think about therapeutic approaches the clinical investigators who enrolled patients in our trials, the, um, the teams in the two companies, Ionis and Biogen, who worked hard on the clinical trials, the clinical development plan, and making sure that we got the drug to regulators so that we could get it approved, and uh, Cure SMA, the organization, for their support and their advice. And it's just, it's just a blessing that everyone has come together um, in the SMA community, researchers, friends, family, people we don't even know help support and to get the, a cure or a treatment for, for SMA. It, it is astounding and it's very humbling for us as a family.